this is Luli. I was invited by Parachute to show you some movies about Brazil if you're coming to see the Olympic Games or if you're watching a lot of things about Brazil right now. So I majored in filmmaking, so I love to talk about movies. Behind me there's a poster of Toy Story, but I've selected eight movies so you have a great perspective on Brazil's culture. Especially because we're such a big country, like geographically huge, so we have a lot of different cultures and a lot of different uh, accents and even the landscape changes a lot, the climate changes a lot. So I've picked some movies that are set in different cities and different regions of Brazil, so you know more or less a better, you have a, a better understanding about Brazil. So the first one is probably one of the most famous ones here uh, from this list is City of God. It's from 2002. It's set in Rio. It's based on a true story and is the story of two boys who grow up in a dangerous neighborhood called City of God. It's like a slum here in Rio. And one of them uh, ends up being a photographer and the other one a drug dealer. But they interact with real life characters like Dajinho, who was a big drug dealer in City of God. So it's, it's really interesting to see how it mixes with the culture from the city and also the landscape from Rio is astonishing. And a lot of like small things that are typical in the slums like uh, there's this chicken scene which is really famous so some slums even though they're in the middle of the city they still have like chickens and some elements from a small small town so this was directed by Fernando Mireles and it was it has five uh four oscar nominations so it's a must watch especially if you're coming to rio to see the olympic games or if you have any plans of coming to rio of course it is a kind of violent movie and it it's it shows a violent perspective on on brazil and on rio and it's not what happens like all the time especially because this was set in the 90s which was a mo more violent time here in rio um okay so city of god is a great movie to know a little about rio and the next one is from 1998 it's also really worldwide famous it's called central station it it has it had two oscar nominations and it's about a former um, teacher who helps illiterate people sending letters to their relatives. And she ends up uh, talking with a lady who's looking for her son's father, but she gets hit by a bus, I guess. And the boy is left alone, so she, she has no perspective in life. She has no hope. She's really... Um, she has a a bad look on life but she ends up helping this boy to find his father so it's a road movie it shows a little about rio shows a lot about the northeast region of brazil it was directed by walter sales salis and the main uh the main actress is fernanda montenegro who was also nominated in this year what I like about Central Station is that it is a road movie and both characters like develop a lot together. So it's it's one of the biggest, well, the soundtrack is also really famous. So these are the two movies from my list, from my list that were nominated for, um, for a foreign movie Oscar or for best director, best actress. Anyway, so these are the most famous ones, I guess. And now we start to get a little more local. Some of them I even didn't find the, the international name. But the next one is from 2000. It's called A Dog's Will. In Portuguese, it's called Alto da Compadecida. And it's about two bums who have to face heavenly judgment after your, their, their death. So it's a comedy. It's also based on a book by Ariana Suassuna, which is uh, one of the biggest uh, 
classic Brazilian writers. And it's it has like a, a big cast of comedy actors. So it's it's kind of funny. And it's also set all set in the northeast region of Brazil. So it's obviously kind of a stereotype. Yes, I have mentioned City of God. It's my my first one from this list. And coming back to a dog's will, uh, it has like a stereotype kind of view on the Northeast region of Brazil. But the Northeast is also known for having a lot of uh, comedy. Like people know how to laugh uh, at themselves or at the situation. We have a lot of um, stand-up comedians who are from the Northeast of Brazil. So it's kind of fun to see a movie about the Northeast region and, and about the Northeast culture with this comedy uh, twist. And Ariano Suassuna was from the Northeast region of Brazil. So I think he has some property to talk about that. And the director is Gela Heiss, and he's also known for uh, directing a few soap operas here in Brazil, which is one of the, I think, most prolific industry, like entertainment industry here in Brazil, is the soap opera one. So we have some actors also from soap opera in this movie, and they're really good. So the next one, number four on my list, if you're coming right now, I'm Luli, I'm from Brazil. I have a YouTube channel and I love to talk about movies. And today I'm introducing eight movies so you will know more about Brazil. The first one was City of God, the second one Central Station, the third one A Dog's Will, and the fourth one is from 2003, The Man Who Copied. This is one of my favorite ones from this list and it's about a young man who's not he's not poor but he's not in a very comfortable situation financially speaking and he falls in love with a girl and he works at a xerox place and he starts copying 50s like 50 reais bills and using this money to buy stuff and eventually he finds out that he doesn't have to copy money like he could rob a bank and so that's what he does just to impress this girl like in to improve his quality of life and the director is Jorge Furtado, which is a, a very well known for working also on television. And we have Lazaro Ramos and Leandro Leal, a big, a very good cast. And the most interesting thing about this movie, I guess, from a Brazilian perspective, is that it is set in the in the south region of Brazil, which is not often shown. And especially because the south region, which um, contemplates three states because here in Brazil we have different states like 20 22 states and the three states in the south they were colonized by european cultures so they're really different from the other the other regions and this one is set in Rio Grande do Sul in the capital called Porto Alegre and they have a different accent they have a different landscape they have a different climate but it, obviously can see that in the in the movie but people tend to act differently if you if you compare cultures from from all these movies you will see that we are all from brazil but we think differently and we react differently to situations and that's why i love the man who copied because it is a portrait of the south region of brazil which is not often shown and people from Rio Grande do Sul, they are really, um, really proud of their uh, entertainment industry and their culture. Um, this, this is the, the furthest south uh, state from the south. And some people want to separate from the whole country. So they, they are kind of uh, self, how can I say this? They, they consume what they produce and they're really proud of their culture and I love The Man Who Copied. It's a great, it's a great movie. So the fifth movie from this list is set in Sao Paulo, which is one of the biggest cities that we have here in Brazil. And it's from 2003, it's called Karen de Rue. This is a kind of funny name, but it's the name of Brazil's largest prison. It doesn't work anymore, they demolish it, but this movie is based on a book 
wrote, uh, written by Dr. Drauzio Varela. Uh, it said in the 90s when he was assigned to work in this prison to help uh, prevent AIDS. So um, we have like different characters. We have a transvestite, we have drug addicts, we have prisoners who start uh, devoting their lives to religion, um, a lot of different people and they're all based on real people who actually existed and were there and Dr. Drauzio Varela wrote this book wrote this book based on his experience there so it's a it's a really interesting movie it's one of the first movies um wh where we can see Rodrigo Santoro he is one of those characters he's a transvestite and it shows how great an actor he is uh, it's unfortunate that we don't have that nuance of him in Hollywood because he's a good actor, but for Americans, he'll always be the Latino guy, you know. But here in Brazil, he has a very good performance in all movies that he's starred. And, okay, so this was my fifth movie from this list. It's directed by the, um, Hector Babenko, who died last month. And... Yeah, this is the movie about Sao Paulo. The uh, sixth movie from my list. If you're arriving now, I'm Luli from YouTube channel Luli de Verdade. And I'm from Brazil. I love to talk about movies. I majored in filmmaking here in Brazil. And my list contemplates City of God, Central Station, A Dog's Will, The Man Who Copied, Karen de Roo, and now number six is from 2007, Stomach. The name in Portuguese is Estomago, and I couldn't find the international name, but I'm pretty sure it's that, like it's the translation, the literal translation of stomach. It's uh, it's a, the story about a simple man who arrives in the city, and he discovers his gift um, of cooking. He is a very, very simple man. He's not um, literate, but he has like this feeling and he starts learning a lot about cooking about different ingredients and how they how they interact with each other and the first night that he spends in the city he has to cook to pay his bill because he didn't have the money for a coxinha which is a very typical uh, salty and deep fried thing made with chicken here in brazil and so we see his life as this simple man who, who, who is learning more about cooking and developing his gift. But also, parallel to that, we have his life in prison. And we don't know why he's in jail. So that's the big mystery of stomach. It's kind of violent. It's, it's, it's not really violent, but it has that prison atmosphere. So it, it at the same time that it has... Uh, some subtle scenes, like food scenes. It ha it also matches with this prison atmosphere, prison prison vibe, which is really interesting. It's directed by Marcus Georgi, and this movie is one of the few that is set in a city that I grew up grew up in, which is called Curitiba. It's also in the south, but it's closer to São Paulo, so it's it's not exactly as Porto Alegre but it's not also as Sao Paulo, it's different. But which, what is interesting is that most people who watch Stomach, they don't know that it's set in Curitiba because it doesn't really show, you know, it's like that average city. And growing up in Curitiba, I can tell you that it is kind of like that. We don't really have a strong personality. Like this is definitely Curitiba, it's not. Like Rio is like that. You can you can see a picture and say, this is definitely Rio, but in Curitiba, it's hardly easy to say that. But anyway, it's one of my favorite Brazilian movies and definitely, you should definitely watch it. It's great, it's really. And moving on to my seventh movie from this eight movie list, it's called The Year My Parents Went On Vacation. It's from 2006. And it's about a boy during the dictatorship time that we had here in Brazil during the 70s. And at the same time, we had the World Cup. And this boy is left with his grandparents while he thinks his parents are on vacation. But actually, they're uh, running away from the dictatorship and the censorship. So we see all those 
cruel things and horrible things that were happening in Brazil at the time by the eyes of a child. So it's really naive and, and it's cute. And the director is called Cow Hamburger, and he's very known for directing a, ch a children's TV program called Castel Hachimbun, it's like Hachimbun Castle. Uh, it's all very magical and very uh, rich, like in in art director art direction. And the year my parents on vacation is a it's a great movie about childhood and about how kids interact with their environment and we can understand what's going on because we are adults watching this movie but he was a kid so he couldn't he couldn't really tell that and the reason this movie is on my list is that i think to know brazil it's not just important that you know like different cultures from each different region but also that you know history so we have this um we had two periods of dictatorship, one in the 50s and the, the next one from the 70s, which was a military uh, dictatorship. And this one has a lot of impact even nowadays uh, in our politics, in our way of behaving, in our votes, our elections. And so this is why I would recommend the year my parents went on vacation, but it's also a great movie. If it, even if you don't consider that it's a Brazilian movie or set in Brazil or talk about Brazilian history, it's still really sweet, you know. And the last one, the last movie from my list is from 2008. In Portuguese, it's called Meu Nome Não é Johnny, which would translate similar to My Name Isn't Johnny. But I couldn't really find the international title. Uh, it's with Celton Mello. And the true, it's the true story of João Guilherme Estrela, who was known as Johnny. And he was a middle-class boy who ended up being one of the biggest cocaine dealers in Brazil in the 90s. He was filthy rich after he became this huge drug dealer. And the director of this movie is called uh, Mauro Lima. And this movie is really interesting. I, I've picked it because it's a Brazilian, it's a Brazilian movie. The beginning of it is, uh, is set in Sao Paulo, but they traveled to Europe also to, to shoot some scenes. So it's also um, a portrait of how Brazilians interact and behave abroad, which is what most of you know of us. <laughs> so, yeah, I love M My Name Isn't Johnny because Salto Mello is, is great. He's also in A Dog's Will. And there is another m great movie that I love with him. It's called Drained. But I didn't pick it because it, it doesn't really show Brazilian culture or, or cities or anything like that. But My Name Isn't Johnny is, is really interesting to show uh, this relationship that he has with um, with his parents, with his society, and also because I love how it breaks the whole stereotype that to be a bad guy, you have to be poor, like you have to have a, a, a poverty background. He was a middle class boy, he had everything, and he started dealing, and he became one of the biggest cocaine de uh, dealers in Brazil in the 90s. I love, I love uh, movies inspired by true events, so... This had to be here in my on my list. So wrapping up, I know this was a really short Periscope, but write it down if you must, but you should definitely watch those movies. It's a great way of understanding Brazilian culture and Brazilians in general, I guess. They have uh, different perspectives on our lives and our um, behaviors. So, um, write it down, okay? I'll repeat. The first one, City of God from 2002. The second one, Central Station from 1998. Third one, A Dog's Will from 2000. It's a comedy. It's the, I think it's one of the, it's the, the, the only one that's a comedy. And number four is The Man Who Copied from 2003. The fifth one is Karen Rue 
um, C A R A N D I R U. It's from 2003. Number six, Stomach from 2007. Number seven, The Year My Air. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Year My Parents Went on Vacation from 2006. And the last one, My Name Isn't Johnny from 2008. So this is my selection of movies so we will know more about different regions of Brazil, different cultures that we have here, different behaviors, and how we interact with each other and how our story or our history made us who we are. And don't be fooled, like Brazilians are really uh, receptive and we're also very friendly but different regions of Brazil have different behaviors and different different accents. Someone saying that I didn't pick Chiaras Ela Volta which was a relatively new movie I, I think it's from last year but uh, well I had to pick some movies like a lot of other great movies are left out here. So Bye Bye Brazil is also great, Gabriela is also great, Entranced Earth, uh, Black Devil, uh, White God, White Devil, Black God, I, I can't really remember, but it's uh, by Glauber Rocha, which is one of the most famous uh, directors from the new period of cinema here in Brazil. I had a lot of options to choose, but I've chosen this eight, these eight movies because they show different regions of Brazil. Like one is set in Rio, the other one is a road movie, the other one is from the Northeast, the other one is from the South, Rio Grande do Sul, the other one from Sao Paulo, another one from the South, and the two last ones were more like our relationship with, with each other and history. So if you like those movies or if you like Brazilian culture, we have a really rich uh, film industry. Right now it's growing, growing, growing. After the 90s, we had a very prolific uh, movie industry here in Brazil. Because of politics and economic uh, perspective or economic uh, opportunities that we had after the 90s. But anyway, these are a few movies that you can start learning more about Brazilian culture and understanding more about us. If you would like to know more about me, I'm Luli. I'm from the YouTube channel Luli de Verdade. I talk about movies. Most of my videos are in Portuguese, but I have a few videos in English too, like interview with author John Green or interview with the cast of The Fifth Wave with Chloe Grace Moretz. And also the, I interviewed the cast and, and directors of Stranger Things, the Netflix series. So this was really great. Um, I hope you like this list and I hope you enjoy Parachute TV. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!